Right, now, I've never taken the easy way with ceramics and this is not an easy way of making a kiln. But I'm going to start with two bags of clay. One is fire clay and the other is ordinary ball clay. This is a fire clay. Now these buckets were a good buy at £4 from being Kiwitz the other day. And I'm going to mix the two up together and then add some sawdust. Now I've been collecting this from the wood that we've been cutting from for the uh, park ray to keep me warm. It's about minus two outside. And in here it's sort of like probably plus two at the moment. There's some water which I've got out from the outside tank which is absolutely freezing as well. Ice chilled. And I'm going to mix that up. Now this is what it looks like mixed up. Uh, it's very sticky. And I've just cut the second piece of paper which goes across for the ends. And this will just tuck in to the bottom of the moulds that way. Now this is a very time consuming uh, sort of process. And basically I'm going to put some rubber gloves on now and just dump the clay into the mould. Right, this is a mould, it's stuffed full, pressed in and hopefully round to all the corners. If it isn't, the mortar when I build the kiln will just have to fill in the lumps and bumps. And basically I use a ruler and just scrape this off the top and it goes back in to the bucket, paper and all. And I'll... It is a extremely sticky job. I don't recommend this for the faint hearted to do. You can just pour a little bit of water on the top. That should just give a smooth finish to the brick. So I'm just filling these little areas that I haven't got any bits in or it's pulled away from. And there's my brick. And with a sharp jerking moment, the brick will start to slide out and it'll be put onto a uh, put onto a bat and left to dry. Now, whether they're going to work, whether they're going to go too mouldy, it gets very cold at the moment. And when I'm going to have time to fire them, I don't know. And how I'm going to fire them with a kiln. So you'll just have to bear with me for future videos. Right, this is a brick. It has bulged a bit because this mixture is a little bit on the wet side. So it's best probably when you mix it, uh, to mix it a little bit stiff and let it dry or stand for a, a short while. Leaving the paper on, it'll burn off and hopefully just leave me a brick. Right, these are bricks, one I made tonight, and these bricks I made the other night. So they're already drying. Um, they're still a little bit soft, as you can see, I've just pushed my fingers in there. So hopefully they'll dry out, and uh, I'll probably put them in the polytunnel and let the air get round them and dry and hopefully we won't get too much mould but I don't know what will happen with them we'll see fire a few up um, maybe put in the bottom of a kiln somewhere and see if we can make our own fire bricks I know they feel heavy at the moment but there we are <laughs> 